welcome back. Um, I'm here streaming another episode of Animal Crossing. Well, not an episode, but another stream. And um, I just want to start decorating for um, for Thanksgiving, which in Animal Crossing they call Turkey Day. Um, I'm not sure how much decorating I'm going to do, but um, just a little bit, just to get into the season a bit. And, um, and, um, and I don't think I have all the do-it-yourself recipes for Thanksgiving, actually. Okay, let's go in. Let's finish, um, with the items I have for, um, Halloween. Um, let's take them down. Okay. Because I think I have a rug that I can put, um, in. Whoops, I didn't mean to take the table. Let's put the table back in. That was not good. Okay. So, the spooky rug we are putting away. And the candy set. And the spooky trick lamp. Okay. Now let's check what I have. Okay, I know these chairs are from Turkey Day. It's just Turkey Day chairs. Um, I'm debating if... If I put the table in yet, um, you know what, let's just grab them, and then, you know that room that I have like this, it's all you know, mismatched, we'll set up in there for, oh, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it, we'll, um, we'll set up, um, in there for, um, for Turkey Day. And, um, let's see. I have a lot of these outside. I don't think I need it inside. Let's keep looking. Okay, I have a question. Sure, what's your question? Um, Mill Josh, too. What's your question, Mill Josh, too? Okay, what is the name of the furniture that, like, a table with, with a blanket? Um, I think it was just turkey table. Yeah, turkey table. Um, scroll up. Oh, okay. Is it this table here? Table with a cloth? Three left. Oh. Um, I think it's pronounced katatus or something like that. It's um, a Japanese table, I think. It's, um, I think they use it during the winter time. I have thought of setting that one up for winter. If I um, start using my extra room, I'll set that table up for winter time. It is cool. I'm not sure how to call you. Should I call you Mill or Mill Josh or is it just Mill or Mill Josh together? Um, I could never figure out the name, so I was wondering because I'm looking for one. Josh or Mill? Okay, cool. Whatever you want. What do you mean, whatever you want? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that I could call you. You can call me their name or response. But okay, sure. Um, since you typed Josh first, I'll call you Josh. Um, yeah, but this table, you should be able, it's, you know, it's a regular table. You should be able to find it in the Nook shopping. Or I think they'll, um, because I don't think it's a seasonal item. I don't think it is. I don't know if it probably it might come up, um, Josh. Um, maybe right now in the month of um, of November it might come up since it's starting to get cold. But um, let's see. I think also have some. Oh, here it is. Here's a turkey day casserole. We can do that one too for turkey day. I do appreciate you following me, Josh. It's really nice of you, and thank you for being here and um, spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Okay, and this turkey day um, table setting. We'll get those ones. I wonder if there's any special food for turkey day. Well, there's this pie, <laughs> the actual symbol of pie. You know what, let's take, let's put the pie on the table. Oh, I want to put my star back out. Let's get the star. Can't wait to actually make food. Oh yeah, it's going to be awesome with the update to actually make really f real food. <gasps> you know what, maybe they'll do that in time for turkey day. And we can um, make food for Turkey Day. That would be cool. Wait, is that a switch light? Um, let me go back up. This one? Yes, it is. I got a couple um, extra to give to um, my villagers, um, you know, as presents for them to have in their house. I just, um, I haven't had the chance to give these ones away yet, though, because I haven't had a new villager in a while. That's actually something I was going to discuss with, um, with you, well, with you, Josh, and also with the rest of the chat and the stream. Is that I'm thinking of changing my villagers and um, and bringing new villagers in. So um, I'm probably gonna like if someone asks me if they're gonna they want to move. I'm pretty much I'm pro probably gonna tell them sure they can move. Oh, here's a cornucopia. We want that on the table. So like I was saying, I'm gonna t tell them they can move, and that way I can um, get new villagers in and that'll be fun because I haven't had new villagers on my island in a while and um, and I've noticed a lot of people um, I want um, to know on my island she know um, I haven't heard of she know um, what um, how does um, he or she look like Well, for my island, I want to get all the cats. Like, I want to get, like, Rover. Um, a friend of mine gave me this picture of Rover. Because, um, on... Okay, let's see. I think she's new and was introduced with the... In the Happy Home Paradise trailer and all Japanese sand scenery. Oh, cool. So she's one, she might be one of the new villagers. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't think about that. Josh, you're right. There's going to be new villagers coming in in the update. Okay, well, my plan was um, I want to have like all the cats on my island because I really like cats. So I was thinking I'm going to try to get all the cats on my island. And um, yeah, but now that you mentioned it, Josh, you're right. Um, 
I should probably hold back a little bit and wait and see what villagers are actually going to be introduced um, with the update and see if there's any interesting ones. Okay, um, you know, since we're going to make the room in the back, I think this is the one. Yeah, tricky do wall. And there should be a floor. Here we go, tricky day flooring. And I think that's all the tricky day stuff I have from last year. Now, I, I don't mean to talk bad about the game because I really love Animal Crossing, but I was kind of disappointed that, um, they pretty much, I was going to stream like Halloween, Josh, and then I ended up not streaming because I, I logged on earlier, and then I noticed that they were just handing out all the same, that time it was all these spooky rugs, um, because they just kept handing out like the same items, and they were the same items from the year before, and, um, and they didn't give out any new items, so I was kind of surprised. I was hoping that they would give new items, but they didn't for Halloween. I was, a I was a little disappointed. So then I decided not to stream on Halloween. Because I was going to stream. But, um, okay, I think that's everything. Alright. So, we're going to put the rug here. There we go. And then we're going to put one of these over here. There, that looks nice. Oh, and you know what? I want to switch out the fireplace for... R.I.P. All I G to G. This time to sleep. Gotta wake up early for work and stuff. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for um being here, Josh. I appreciate it. Um. Thanks for stopping by. And um, you have a good day at, at work. Okay, let's look for... Oh, and thanks a lot for the follow, Josh. I really appreciate it. Um, and you have a good day. Alright, let's go back and let's look for the fireplace. I forgot about the fireplace. Here it is. Tricky day fireplace. You know what? I'm going to get the other one out too. And I'll put that one in the room. Okay. So, where is it? Here we go. And we'll put the laptop back up here. And we'll put the Nintendo Switch over here. Let's turn it on. Oh, not the TV. I didn't mean to turn on the TV. Turn off the TV. Goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, now let's set up everything up. Let's set up the laptop again. And then on this side, the Nintendo Switch, like it was on the other fireplace. There, it's on. And then this regular fireplace, we'll put it away for, um, probably we'll put it back up in December. Or you know what, we might, we might go with the one that's white since, you know, it's for the snow. Well, I don't know. We'll see how we decorate for, um, December. Okay. So, let's see. That looks nice. And if they have other turkeys, um, turkey day stuff, or, um, fall items, we'll... Hopefully they'll have some new items since there actually is going to be an update. Okay. I wonder if I have enough space to put all this away. I think I do. Okay, let's put that in storage. Okay, let's well, we'll pick up a couple more items at a time. storage and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with this room that I have back here since I always have all the stuff in it is uh, this will be like my theme room that I do in different themes like depending if it's like a holiday um, and then what I'm thinking is with the new update, since you know how you can partition the rooms, I'm going to partition where I have the bathroom, and I'm not going to have as many items in the bathroom. I'm going to, like, be more selective of what I have in the bathroom. And, um, I'm going to, um, put the, the washer in there. And one of the drying racks. Okay, I'm gonna keep the alarm, the digital alarm clock, because I like to have a clock in every room. It's just a weird thing I do. I, I even do that like in real life. So, um. And we're gonna leave the TV here too and um, okay oh there's one item I still haven't gotten let's look around make sure I got all the items Or leave, I'm leaving the TV up. Oh, there's one. There's a phone over here. I don't know if to leave the phone. You know what? We'll leave the phone. Okay. Now let's put up. the wallpaper for turkey day and we'll put this one away and we'll put the turkey day flooring in okay horizontally or vertically I don't remember which one looks better you know what let's just go with um, horizontally You know what? Let's try. Let's try and see how it looks the other way, vertically. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think I like the other way. Okay. All right. Um Let's try to move the TV over a little bit. What's in the middle? Okay, that's one in the middle. And then we'll put the fireplace, maybe move back a little bit. Put the fireplace here. Okay. And then we'll put the table in the middle. Or you know what? Let's put the table to one of the sides. We'll put it on this side. Let's see. Um, table. And we'll put... One chair on this side. Hmm, that's not how I wanted it. We'll just flip it around a little bit. You know what? I think the table we should flip this around. Have the runner going down this way. the other chair there. I'm only putting two chairs out instead of four. Maybe I'll add the fourth, the, maybe a third chair or the fourth chair, but um, I usually never have more than one person visiting me at a time. So, oh, let's put up here the, not the casserole. The place settings, um, what do we call it? Cozier. Hmm. Maybe you can't really see the TV. Okay, let's take that down. Let's put the cornucopia. There. You know what, I'm gonna have to move the chair down so I can put this place setting over here. Let's see if I, hopefully I can view that. Oh, nope, not the casserole. Let's see, can I put in, let's check if I can put in the center of the table. The center. It does let me put in the center. But then I was thinking if I put it in the center right now, then, um, let's see if I can put the casserole here in the middle on this side. I don't think I can. No. Okay, let's put the casserole on this side. You know what? I might have to get another table. I wonder if I can craft a table. You know what? Let's check, everybody. 
Um, let's go to the recipes. And let's go, let's look for... See, and then I don't think I collected all the Turkey Day recipes last year. I think I'm missing some. Here we go. See, because I don't have that many. And I can make another table. Alright, let's make another table. We'll put it on the other side of the room. Um, we'll make another table. Okay, and we'll do some more um, place settings for the table that I have outside. Okay, let's see, we're looking for clay. Here we go. Here's some clay. Okay, you know what? We gotta go downstairs to the basement to um to craft the items. All right. Let's craft another table. Okay, we're gonna craft another table. And then we're gonna craft, um, you know what, let's craft another casserole. That way we have, um, I'm thinking on the other table, I'm not going to put any chairs, and I'll put like all the food on that table. Um, so I'm going to put two casseroles for now, and then like Josh was saying earlier in the chat, if um, when we can, when with the update that you can make food, then hopefully I can make food and. Um, then we can put that on that table. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. I didn't check if I had enough room in my pockets, everybody. Oh, I guess we'll find out. If it tells me I, I can't fit any more in my pockets. Okay, and we need one more because there's four place settings on the table. And I don't know, like, but you know what? I like the table because it's like rustic for outside by the, um, by the museum. And you know what? These other tables are like more like for indoors. Okay, let's put the table on this side. Okay, turkey day table. What? What do you mean I don't have enough room? And then we'll put the casseroles on this, on one on this side and one on the other side. Okay, let's see. Um, chair. Here we go, casserole. And then we'll put another one on this side. Did I not make another casserole? That's weird. Let's see. Oh, I left it over here. Silly me. I left it on the other table. 
Goodness gracious, I feel the sneak it would have been. Okay, we have two casseroles, and then let's put the pie. Even though it's, I don't know if the pie was from, I don't think it was from Turkey Day, but we're going to put the pie out here anyway. Pie with the symbol pie on it. I'm going to put four, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, table settings over here for the table outside. It's the same table I decorated for Halloween, everybody, with the, um, with the Halloween table settings. Okay, I think we're going to put the wheat over in this corner. Oops, can't get too close then it's towards me. I don't have enough room. Okay. And then, I think I'm going to have to get another little table. I think I have another table to put the clock on. Um, this is a desk. These are tea tables. Did I get rid of my table? See, but this natural square table is a garden table. And this is a wooden end table. I guess it's more like for the living room. Maybe a bedroom. I'm thinking I gave my tables away. But I sold them. I think I gave, I gave my tables away. Hmm. Should I build another table, everybody? Or should I use this end table? You know, let's... Let's see how it looks, and if it looks weird, then we'll build another table. And you know what would be cool too with the update? I might be able to put the counters in, everybody. <gasps> That'll be cool. Let's see how that looks like. It doesn't look that bad. That'll be cool, I'll just put counters like on this side and on that side. Oh, I can't wait for the update. We'll redo the room, everybody. With the update, we'll redo the room. Okay, let's, so we're going to put the alarm clock there. So we have the time. All right. Let's put the place setting over here in the middle. I'm thinking I'm gonna put that turkey decoration. What is it called? I'm caught the right thing. Not just turkey day decorations, we'll put those on the stand I have outside and we'll take down the Halloween stuff. But then also with the update, oh, there's just so much stuff that we're gonna be able to do with the update, everybody. Um, we might be able to put food there, so. Um, you know what? And I might be able to build a counter over there on that, on that side of the um, room and we can put the decorations on that side. It's gonna be so much fun. Oops, I didn't mean to sit in the table. Um, the chair. I love these little hats. Um, I had a hat like this like a long time ago. Um, I think when I was living in Texas, that's when I had it. 
And I don't know what happened to the hat. I had one. Hey, it's just, um, Albert, how you doing tonight? What you doing up so late? Did you stream tonight? Um, just Albert? What did, um, and if you did stream, what did you stream? I don't think I got a notification that you were streaming. I usually um, get notifications. Well, today I'm starting to decorate for Thanksgiving. Since, hey there, I'm just laying on the floor. No, I didn't stream today and my back was giving me fits. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that, Jess Elver. I'm so sorry that um, you're having a hard time with your back. Hope you feel better. But thanks for dropping by and um, coming to my stream. I appreciate it. And um, you're really sweet. Finally, some Thanksgiving love. Everyone is already talking about Christmas. I know. I don't get that about people. They, they skip from Halloween to Christmas. And, you know, we got Thanksgiving there. I know. I really love Thanksgiving. I've always loved Thanksgiving. And, um, so, thank you for appreciating that I'm, I'm decorating for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then this pie over here. Just out there. I, I don't remember what this pie was from. It's sometime from last year. And it has a pie sign on it. But since I don't have a pumpkin pie. But then um, earlier, um, Josh was in here in the, in the chat. And he was reminding me that we're going to be able to cook soon with the update for Animal Crossing. We're going to be able to cook real food. So hopefully I can get it all set up with like real food. Like real pies and everything. And I think you're also going to be able to build counters. So then I'll put a counter back here and then a counter on this side and probably put more food there. You know, make it feel like really like, you know, Thanksgiving with a lot of food everywhere. It'll be nice. Well, this is how the room looks for Thanksgiving. And I couldn't resist put leaving the TV in. And we all, and well, I don't know how big of a football fan you are, um, just all there, but, um, um, that's one thing, well, well, my father passed away last year, but that's one thing, um, that, um, my father and I would do, is we would make sure to watch, you know, the football game on Thanksgiving, it's kind of a tradition, so, um, that's why I wanted the TV in my, um, in my Thanksgiving room theme room, and, um, all, well, I'm sorry, I didn't read what you said. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't have you waiting. Cooking, huh? That, that actually sounds interesting. I really like watching people play this game, but it's hard for me to get into it. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, whenever you want to, whenever you want to just stop by the stream, and I appreciate you being here. Um, just Alvar, I think it's a nice game to play. It's really relaxing for me, especially, like, when I've had a long day, and you know, doing all that adult stuff you have to be an adult for, and, um, and I like it because it's relaxing, lets me be a little creative, um, and, and then I feel like my family doesn't watch football much, but the games are on while I work. I try to watch them when I can, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, my dad was a big um, 49ers fan. He loved the 49ers. He had, like, all this stuff, like jackets, shirts, hats, everything from the 49ers. He really loved them. He was kind of funny. Like, if the 49ers played on a day that he had to work, he'd call in sick. He was so funny like that. <laughs> okay, I need to get back to relaxing games. I played Stardew for the first time in a while the other day, and it was so nice. 
Oh, I wanted to ask somebody who actually played Stardew that I knew. So is Stardew good? I've like I've heard good things about it, but um, um, yes, I have my nicer sweater on right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool, just out there. Um, and um. I'm sorry, I didn't read that right. I have my Niner sweater on right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't read that right. I just kind of read it pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, Niners. Abbreviation for 49ers. Sorry. Sorry about that, Albert. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Thanks for clearing it up for me, though. Yeah, so... I guess you're a 49ers fan. Thank um, my dad would like... We'll probably be like talking your ear off about him. <laughs> okay, we're. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's go up here first and put the settings over here. I think I'm going to leave this table out here instead of doing the turkey day. Um, one because it's you know it's more of a rustic feel out here for um so i'm gonna leave this table out here let's see i always have difficulty saying yes to others to get it if you like grinding games and yes it's fun. The story is pretty solid, and with friends, it's even better. However, it can get a bit stale if you play it too much. Okay, um, I have a question then. Is Stardew kind of, is it kind of like Harvest Moon, or it's, I guess it's more, then I guess you're saying you have to, you have to, like as Harvest Moon, I mean, you don't grind as much, but you still do, though. Is Stardew something in between, like... I don't know, I guess. Whoops, I didn't mean to place that there. Also, if you play console, it is a bit more boring. However, on PC, you have access to mods, which make it more fun. Oh, okay. I'll have to think about getting it for the PC, then. Thank you for the tip there, Destal Bear. I've never played Harvest Moon. So I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's perfectly alright. Um, I don't know if a lot of people play Harvest Moon or not. I like to play usually these slice of life type of games. And Harvest Moon is kind of like that. Where, um... Um... You're a farmer, and you can choose if you want to be a boy or a girl, and, um, and you have your farm, and you kind of do stuff. Okay. Um, I'm honestly just waiting for oh, the po Pokemon, um, remakes to come out. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna become a shut-in for a while. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, you did mention that when I stopped by the other day on, um on your stream that you're waiting for um, the Pokemon um, to come out. I really never played um, the Pokemon games. Are they really fun? The only thing I did watch was like, you know, when I was younger I watched the cartoons. But I never really played any of the video games.
let's see. Stardew is honestly like um, Animal Crossing New Horizons in a sense. Only it's more economic driven for exploration and less decoration oriented. Oh, okay. So you don't decorate as much and... Um, I used to play all the games until about the thirds after that they became odd. They became odd? Oh, okay. You can call me Barry. Okay, cool. Set up. Everyone does at this point. Okay. All right, Barry. I will call you Barry. How does the table look, Barry? I think we're ready for Thanksgiving. And if I... I don't think I can build a counter outside, but maybe I'll put like another table over here. And if I can make food, I'll make the food and put it over here on this side. Oh, right. Robin wants to talk to us today. Okay, let's purchase her school jacket to help her out. I would like to buy whatever they're selling. Even sometimes it's like extremely overpriced. Because I'm like, I'll help my villagers. Hopefully that builds. Um, I don't know if I can nook miles for it though. Like points. I think I get points for helping them. Like when they lose their notebook or something like that. Wait, what? You can buy their clothes? <laughs> yeah, I, they sell you their clothes, their furniture, their flooring, their whatever they like. I don't know it's random. They come up to you and they're like, Will you buy my. And they're like, they talk about how they're so attached to. One time it was like a, a garbage pail or something. Like, oh, I'm so attached to my garbage pail and. I don't want to let it go, but I need the money, and <laughs> it was funny. Times are hard with Nook the Crook and Charging Rent. Oh, you're funny, Barry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, but he's like, I, I, I get it a lot from other people that I, that Tom Nook's like this guy who's like a gangster who, who's, who's um, beating people up and for money. I don't know. I, I never got that, um, that from him. Maybe because I always paid him on time. <laughs> I was made sure to make my payments from my house. <laughs> cool, we got 10,000 bells. It's good karma. See, I bought stuff. I got some money. I call him a crook after him dropping that bill on me after inviting me here. <laughs> You're hilarious. That's true that he invites you over and then he's like, and then he charges you, um, I forgot how much it is in the beginning, um, for, for what was it? Was it just for like the tent, the tent and the... He charges for everything. <laughs> You're funny, Barry. He charges for everything. Um, well, he does, doesn't he? He even charges you when you want to demolish something. Like the other day, I wanted when I wanted to put in the nice the I could afford the nicer bridges. These let me show you which bridge I'm talking about. These Zen bridges and. This bridge right here, it's called the Zen Bridge. Because before I had, like, the basic one that was just made out of, like, logs or whatever. And then I started, like, decorating my, and I was able to, and then he charged me, he charged me, like, 10,000, um, yeah, it was 10,000 bells just to demolish it. And I was like, oh my goodness.
You're right about that. Um, Barry, he charges on. I didn't think about that. He does charge for everything. What a scam. Nick is rolling in the bells. <laughs> Yeah, he's got all these islands going. People with multiple islands. <laughs> Let's see. Um, capture memory. We can do that one pretty quickly. Let's go take a picture of the table. I don't know. Should I take... You know, let's go inside the house and we'll take a picture of my Thanksgiving room. I'm just going to call it Thanksgiving room. Here's my giant robot. I have this awkward place for it, but, you know, I like my giant robot. Okay, let's it stands out so much I know it's hilarious Barry <laughs> I need to find a better place for it and like well you know how everybody's like redoing their islands anyways with this update so I'll probably redo my island anyways and I'll find a better place for him okay let's take a picture you know what? I'm going to sit down and then we'll take the picture. Hopefully I can take a picture sitting down. Oh, but it doesn't take the picture of the whole room. Okay. Let's stand in the middle. There, now I got the picture of the whole room. And we'll take the picture. And we got the next miles. And we got a picture of the Thanksgiving room. Before the update. And then we'll see how it ends up turning out after the update. Hopefully we can make some I can make some improvements. Okay, I think that's about as much as I can do for Thanksgiving room right now. We'll improve on it after the update. We'll see. Um, you know, I think I still have some I some Halloween items upstairs. Oops, I walked out. Um, some upstairs in my bedroom. I need to get. Let me take those down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left. Those are the last ones. Yeah, here they are. Let's, let's put these away. We'll take them out next Halloween. And we'll put this away. Put that away. Put that away. Okay, the school jacket we probably are not going to keep. I just bought it because I wanted it to be mine. And we'll put that away. Um, let's look at what I have to put back up there. Let's see. I think I had like a candle or something like that up there before Halloween. I just realized people have to take down decorations for holidays like they do in real life <laughs> yeah you do you decorate well some people don't decorate for um this like for um the holidays um they just have like their themes for their island and they do that but um it depends on the person and their what they want to do but yeah i do i 
I decorate like in real life, like if, like right now it's November, so it's the beginning of the month, so I'm going to decorate for Thanksgiving. And I had it, de and I had the stuff decorated for Halloween. And see, I have like these Easter decorations, which they call Bunny Day. I guess I just want to be politically correct and just, instead of calling it Easter. So it's not a religious thing. They call it Bunny Day. And then for Christmas, they call it Big... They, I think they just call it Festival or Big... Or just... Something like that. Or Winter Festival. But yeah, after... When December starts, like the first week of December, I'll take out my Christmas trees. And then I have all, all my winter decorations, like, to put outside, and the snowman, and, let's see, cream and sugar, mm, no, what would be good on that table? I guess this fruit basket we'll put on there, and well, these chocolate hearts would fit technically for Valentine's Day. I forgot what this log's for. Was it for Valentine's Day? I'm thinking because of the color. Oh, I think this tree, um, bounty lamp, but is for fall. So let's take that one out. And let's take this candle out in case the fruit basket doesn't, it's, it seems out of place. Okay, um, let's put this one up first. Oh, that was on. It was on. Okay. Let's put the fruit basket down first and see how that looks. That looks nice. Well, I guess the fruit basket kind of makes sense because since it's harvest time, but I don't know if those kind of fruits would be the type. But the candles look nice. We'll leave the candles. And we'll put the fruit basket away. We'll put it away for another holiday. Okay, let's see. Let's check if I have any other decorations around that I haven't taken down from Halloween. Okay, looks like I got everything. Oh, did you know this Mona Lisa here is actually a real Mona Lisa? Actually, have the one I donated to the museum and this real one I got, and also this, um, Da Vinci, I forgot what it's called, or what, when he drew the man. I'm sorry, Barry, I didn't see that. The part that always amazes me is how much into detail, detail put, uh, I'm sorry, much into detail put into their islands. Like, this looks exactly like a normal room. <laughs> yeah, actually, I made my, I made my house seem as normal as possible. Some people, like, have each of their rooms, like, different themes, and in my island, I wanted my island to be more like a normal room where, like, you know, like, on this side, you have your stereo, and you have, like, like your little um, station where you do your work or your homework or whatever, and you have your dresser, then you have your animals, and and then you have like a little sofa, and then you have your bed, and your wardrobe. So, I made it actually look like a bedroom. Some people don't go for the normal, they want to 
you know, special thing for their, for their room. And this is actually the first time because I've been watching other people, let's see. Also, it's called um, vir Virtue. I can't say the word. Virtue Bacon Man. I only know it because of Futurama. Oh, that was in Futurama? Oh, okay. But, like, this is the first time, like, I was saying, Barry, that I actually take a room in my house and, like, build a theme to it. Like, I'm doing, like, this is a room that my theme is Thanksgiving. I really don't do that. And, um, but I thought, thanks, I thought this year it, it merit me doing it. I mean, mine was a race car bed and some teddy bears. Also, little corner of my friend who visits my island. Oh, okay. So in yours, you had the race car bed. That's cool. The teddy bears are cool, like the big giant one. But I think I gave my giant bear away now that I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking I gave, I gave my giant bear to a friend. Let's see, now that we're talking about teddy bears. It looks really nice. It has a homey feeling. Oh, thank you, Barry. I appreciate it. That's what I was going for. To make it seem more like a home than just, um... See, but, like, I got these servers, and I was thinking of making, like, a server room. Because, um... I do a lot of IT stuff in real life. So, um... I was thinking of doing that, but... And I decided, why do I want to put, like, my real life in the game? <laughs> After I got all those servers. Because those servers are kind of expensive in this game. Um, I guess I gave my teddy bear away. Oh, no, Barry. I gave my teddy bear away. Oh, I have a baby. I have the baby bear teddy bear. But I don't have the giant one. I have to make a new one. I gave it away to somebody. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I can always craft one. Okay, let's see. Um, I have a baby bear. So I need a mama bear and a papa bear. Okay, let's order it right now. Let's order it. Well, um, I remember... Oops. Okay, we have baby bear. So look like the giant teddy bear, you have to actually craft it. Okay, so we're gonna get the mama bear. And we're gonna get the papa bear. So those should be coming tomorrow. And then we can build the giant teddy bear again. Cool, so you had all the bear stuff. Did you have like the bear costume? Did you go around dressing up as a bear? <laughs> My friend brought me the bear costume and the bear cap. That was all I wear now in the game. <laughs> That's cute. What about the bear umbrella? Did you get the bear umbrella? That bear umbrella is pretty cute. Oh, this is beard, not bear. Okay. Oh. We have some cute bear stuff. I haven't even un unlocked the shop yet. What, Barry? You haven't even unlocked the shop yet. Do you not want to put the elbow grease into um, 
collecting all the materials for them. Not only do they charge you for the stuff, then you have to provide the raw material for building the shop. <laughs> You're right, it's a big old scam. They're like, now you gotta be our slave and you gotta go find all the iron. I forgot what they asked me. Like, they asked me for iron and clay and what's the third one they ask you for? I think it might be wood. What kind of deal is that? I know, exactly. <laughs> That's what they do, though. They ask you for um, all this material to fix. Okay, I think for sure it was like the clay. No, it was the iron nuggets, the stones, and the clay. And I forget how many, like, how many of each they ask you for to... And it's to do Nook's Cranny, which is this one. Nook's Cranny. And you redo the residence, I think it's called the Residence Service Center or something like that. Where Tom's hit is there himself. Also, I think I changed your outlook on this game. You're calling everything a scam now. <laughs> I guess you did, Barry. No. You did. You? Well, you, you, you made me think about it, but... Well, you know what? In everything needs people to work at it and to... And technically, you're, you're considered the representative of the island or whatever, and so... But what I think is weird about it, though, is I'm the representative, but yet the other villagers really don't help. Like, technically, like when you build a bridge or you build a ramp, they're supposed to collect from everybody in the village. And somehow I was the one that always, I would like, I, at, when I first did the, like, these bridges, um, I would, there's like, you, there was like this little weird, like, kind of like, like a fire hydrant. And, um, he, um, he, that's where you would go and donate your money. And then I'd go back and look, and no one had donated any money. Sounds like a bunch of freeloaders. <laughs> you're funny, Barry. You're, you're a really funny guy, Barry. Um, yeah, they are actually a whole bunch of, bunch of freeloaders. And they come and sell me their jacket, like, at, like, three times the amount of money <laughs> that it's worth. talking about that jacket let's go and I'm gonna come it's after hours because I always play really late and I come to the drop box and in the drop box they only give you the value of an item at 80 percent but that, that this jacket that I paid 1400 for let's see how much they give me I got 280 bells for it so and I paid 1400 bells for it. <laughs> but even if the shop would have been open, um, they would have just given me 20% more on, on that. So, oh, it is what it is. You know what? I don't know if, did I come in here to check the terminal? Let me check. Robin's got some explaining to do. <laughs> no, they have their own little scams going to the villagers. They're like, there goes Pacific. We can hit her up. We can hit her up and um, get her to pay a lot of money for our stuff. Okay. Okay. And then also I've been trying to collect money because, um, more bells. I don't have as many bells as other people do. Like, I don't know how they go to Treasure Island or there's some type of glitch that you can get infinite bells. I don't know how they do that. Someone tried to explain it to me, Barry, but I didn't understand how that worked. But, um, 
that you can either go to Treasure Island, at the Treasure Island, they you get infinite bells, like you can pick up as many as you want, or um, you there is some way to so for you to be able to have infinite bells in your bank account. I don't know how that works, so um, I've just been saving my bells as I go and working hard. I work hard, just like I do in real life, and. Um, I have my money for the um, saved up for the update because there's gonna be you know how you said that um, um, Tom Nook tried to do for everything. Well, there's gonna be some updates that you can have a bigger storage, and he's gonna charge you of course for updating for doing those. Yeah, they have multiple switches and they hack. Then they offer them to other channels for their viewers to access to have more followers yeah yeah see I never knew any of all this other stuff until I started streaming because um, well I'm not new to twitch I would I would I didn't stream I actually watched um, people stream but I really didn't watch people stream Animal Crossing I watched other games um, like I would watch COD a lot Call of Duty and other games like that, and, um, but then people, when I started streaming, they started, um, coming on and explaining stuff to me. I, I guess I was like a newbie, and they're like, what are you doing? You're like, you could, you could do this so, so much easier. I had, I had some random come to my island, and they dropped off so much bells. It kind of ruined the game for me because now I didn't have to work for anything. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Barry. Well, um, I got Animal Crossing from, like, the very beginning, like, you know, when COVID hit last, last March of 2020. And... I'm one of those grinder ones, grinder people that just grinds away at the games and all the nook miles and all the stuff I have and all the items I have and all the creatures that I've gotten. I've gotten because of me. And I really don't believe in the time traveling stuff either, so I haven't really done much of that either where people are like, oh, you just time travel and so, I don't know, I guess I'm old fashioned. I like to just play the game and work at it and for there to be a purpose for it. But yeah, um, you're probably right. I would like Stardew. I'm probably going to get it. Thanks for mentioning it, Barry. I'm probably going to get Stardew. Um, um, let's see. Don't let that bother you. I love figuring out how to play the game and how to play it smarter on my own. That's why I, I loved Stardew so much every new world I did a bit better yeah exactly that's what I'm thinking too that about Stardew I should probably get it like after I do the update and the decorating I'll probably do Stardew you don't time travel wow that's some um, dedication <laughs> thank you Barry I don't I, I didn't start time traveling till someone mentioned it and explained it to me when I was streaming someone came in and told me like you know about changing the clock on your on your actual switch and how that would that changes because you know how like it runs off of your um, the the actual real time where you're located off of your switch and they explained how to do all that kind of stuff because I think a lot of people the couple people who do come in and watch my stream they um, when they watch me play, they notice that I don't do certain things like other players do, and, and and I think they're trying to help me out. I'm not gonna say they're they're doing a bad thing, but um, yeah, my friend explained it to me, and it brought back memories of me doing that on my DS back then. Yeah. Yeah, Barry, so, but, no, I didn't time travel till the very end, 
And then the other thing, since I had, I was kind of lone wolfing it, and um, I didn't, I hadn't really played with anybody. Um, I get why people do it though. It's because for streaming, people always want fast content, so they time travel to always have something to do. I guess so. I guess that's why I haven't even I haven't even made affiliate because um, I guess because I come in and I just do a calm stream where like you know where I'm just decorating and it's really straightforward or. Um, I'm doing what I'm doing now. I'm picking up shells, which I'm going to sell. I talk to my villagers. And, and I guess my stream can be a little low-key, not as exciting. And, um, I don't know, but I, I stay true to what I do. And I'm really not trying to make a living off of streaming. I'm, oh no, it's wrong with Dell. Remember you wanted it. I'm telling you, but this is what they tell me. They tell me, oh, remember you wanted this item? See how it's this random item, this moth, moth ball? No, I don't actually. I'm just gonna tell him I don't want it. <laughs> he gave it to me anyways. <laughs> People really underestimate how hard and stressful getting affiliate is. I struggled with getting active viewers per stream since I played Stardew, which isn't really popular. He tried to finesse you. I know he did. I'm telling you, these, um, I get all concerned. They're like all having these thought bubbles. They're like upset or something. I'm like, what's wrong? And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, I, I thought you wanted this item. He would have, I don't know if he would have given it to me or if he would have sold it like Robin did. But, um, no, you know, I play the games that I like and I, mostly I stream like, um, like Nintendo games like Animal Crossing, um, Mar Super Mario Kart, um, um, to, um, Mario Party, stuff like that. Mostly Nintendo games. Um, I do occasionally do other games, but um, and I play the games I like, and even if they're not that popular, like um, there was this game I streamed with my brother. It's called um, I think it says Time to Riot or We Riot, and it was just this really fun old side scroller really fun like really old back in the day type of game actually i could get more followers or subs playing popular games but i play what i like otherwise what okay video games at all exactly like you're supposed to be having fun too or i, I don't know i don't get the people who are like oh i'm gonna play this game now because that's one everybody's playing now like I don't mean to be like mean or anything, but that what's that game that everybody's playing right now? The Back for Blood or whatever. I don't get that game. It's just like a whole bunch of zombies and just a whole bunch of shooting and I don't know. Plus, I don't like zombie games. But I play the games I like, even if... I know there is a following for um, Animal Crossing. But, um... You know, I don't play... Like you said, like, as... I don't want to say aggressive. That wouldn't be the right word to use. But, um... 
like other players do. I'm, I'm more laid back. Yeah, I totally wasn't going to get that game. <laughs> yeah. What's the other game that, um, every, there's another, those, are, those were the games everybody was playing for Halloween. It was, um, Back for Blood, um, and I think it was called Dead... Dead at Deadlight or Dead by Dead by Daylight? I think it's Dead by Deadlight. That one's actually kind of fun. Because what's cool about that one is that you can play the killer. And like you, like you decide if like how many of the players you let move on to the next level. New World was popular. Dead, yeah, Dead by Daylight and COD. That's the one, Dead by Daylight. You play, I play it with friends sometimes. No, actually I don't play it. Like I said, I'm I'm a really big follower and I watch a lot of people, I follow a lot of people on Twitch. And, um, but um, if I buy the game, I'll let you know, Barry. And, um, and I'll, and then we can play we can play together. I know you're at Animal Crossing, but if you ever want to play Animal Crossing, I'm open to um, to playing with you. But um, and actually, I have COD too. I have Call of Duty. I actually don't play with anybody either, but um, I have I have COD too. I have COD. I don't have. The Dead by Day. I do. I follow tons of people who play COD. I really get into it. It's funny because, like, they rage and I rage, and <laughs> I think I rage sometimes. I rage more than they do. <laughs> I'm trying to check the island if I got all the fossils. All the fossils for today. I'm thinking I did. Oh, and I did be say I was going to get rid of the cemetery this um, month. But I'll have to think of what I'm going to put up here. Okay. I have Cold War on my Xbox. But I don't want to play f for it on my PC, especially since the Vanguard is another game, basically. Yeah, you're right. Um, actually, I don't have an Xbox. I have um, a PlayStation, and um, I got all of the all the games. I got um, Call of. Um, I got. I just got the um, Cold Wars, the Call of Duty Cold Wars, the War Zone, and also uh, Modern Warfare, which is all, it's three games, and it takes, like, a lot of memory on them. And then I went against what I usually do. I usually actually buy the physical game, so it doesn't take up as much space. Oh, here's a fossil I was missing. Um, so it doesn't take up as much space. And then I ended up downloading them directly to my PlayStation. And now I don't have any room for anything. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to transfer them onto a um, USB drive. And have all the Call of Duty games there. But See, and that's where like everybody does Warzone. Which technically Warzone is free. You can download it for free on whatever platform you want and play it what they do is more like um the in purchase stuff that's how they make their money yeah i bought an external hard drive just to have my games yeah i'm probably gonna have to end up doing that getting getting external hard drive or putting it on a usb like putting like all the like i was thinking a usb drive because that way i can just say like well this one's 
the COD one where it has all the COD games on it, but um, but yeah, the game started taking up a lot of room, and I don't get the people. I guess they have really good gaming PCs. How they or if they just start deleting games, the ones that are doing new games all the time, and that to me it makes it. In, I don't know, to me, it's like, it would make me sad because, um, like, I played that game, like, like, I was talking about, um, Cold War for, um, Call of Duty. I actually, like, since I was playing by myself, I'd actually, like, played the storyline and played the actual game. And, um, then I actually do Warzone and, you know, but, I don't know, it makes me sad, like, like, all the people, for example, like, right now with Animal Crossing, that, um, all the people are, um, are redoing their islands. They're, like, just deleting their islands. Like, all the work they put into it, like, doesn't matter. They, um, I don't know. I was like, I would, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna redesign my island, but I'm not gonna, like, completely delete it or something. It's a lot of work I put into it. You can add hard drives and SSD cards easily into a PC, actually. They are also cheaper than console ones since they're more widespread. You're right, Barry. That is correct. Because for a PC... So that... See, and that's where I haven't done that yet. I haven't gone PC yet. Like, even right now where I'm streaming, I'm streaming off my laptop. And it's not even a gaming laptop. It's, I haven't, like, because I do it, I do, you know, I stream for, my, for myself and my friends. And I consider you a friend, Barry. And, um, so I do it mostly for the people who followed me and can continue coming back and saying hi and everything. So I haven't really gone into, like, oh, I need to purchase, um... A gaming PC, or, um, I know, and then that's a lot of money to be purchasing all that stuff for it, and I just use my regular laptop that I use to, that I do, it, like, the rest of my stuff on, um, so I don't know. I just have a capture card, and that's what I, I use for my, that's why I usually, um, do console, like, I'll do... Um, well, another thing I streamed was, like, Diablo, um, and I also did, did that stream with my brother, um, and that was on the P on the PlayStation, um, but I just have my capture card, and I either capture for, um, you know, like, the Switch or the PlayStation, and then I just, um, stream it off of my laptop, and that's how, well, that's how I connect to Twitch and then stream, but, um... I think that was the last fossil I got. Let's see what other nook miles are there. I tell this to people and they get mad, but it's the truth. I bought a PC at first solely to play Stardew modded, which I still haven't played. And streaming was like the fifth reason. I never thought I would stream. Oh, okay. Well, you did it for yourself, which is good. Let's. I'm glad to hear that, Barry. That the, re the reason you bought P your PC was for a game you wanted to play, not just because you wanted to stream. So that's. I guess if I. I maybe if I see well, like you said, maybe like Stardew's better on the PC, maybe if I start, but since I mostly do games that are on consoles, not on PCs, but I've noticed that a lot of the games, other than the ones that are like, like owned by like a brand, like, you know, Animal Crossing is owned by Nintendo, and so is like the Super Mario games and all that, um, but... Where I can see, though, where I guess I should save my money and get a, a PC. Oh, 
but like you said, I should do it for like for gaming, not just like, oh, because it's gonna be better for streaming. I should do it because I want to have like more space for games and have access to other games. I figure I might as well stream if I'm gonna be playing so much. That's what got me to keep streaming. Oh, okay. Yeah, um... I play like... Animal Crossing, I play like a lot. Um, and I really got into playing a lot of Animal Crossing because of COVID. But, um... I think it's the only game, like, I actually p put, like, as much effort into it as I do. Oh, you know what? Let's go check the pier. I've been trying to get this one last fish that I'm missing, and it only shows up on the pier. It's supposed to be on the pier at any time of the day. And I keep, whenever I remember, I come and check. Okay, let's, hopefully it'll be that fish. And you're getting the right angle. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Um, honestly, you don't really need a PC with how much console have to offer. The only reason to get a PC is if you want better performance out of the games. Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't the fish I was looking for, but... Oh, okay. It's better performance to get from the games. Okay, cool. Well, that's... I think that's what I've heard from people. You get better performance from the games. And, like, one game that I wanted... But I guess you could also... You could find it on the Xbox. It was, um... I think it was called Animal Royale. And it looked really cute. Um... It was kind of like a cross between Call of Duty and Animal Crossing. And, um, a couple of people were streaming it, but, um, I don't think it was that popular. Yeah, because, you know, who wants a first shooter game of cute little animals? <laughs> oh, my fishing rod gave out on me. Let go. Go to the house and get another fishing rod. But you're right, Barry. I mean, I know. I guess that's why some people. I know they don't consider me like a real streamer, but I don't take myself that seriously, and I think I do tell people I'm a casual gamer. Caught in Animal Crossing sounds very odd. <laughs> well, that's, I don't know, I could be like misrepresenting it, but that's how it looks like. Um, and I think that's what it's called, Animal Royale. And um, it was for, it's on PC, and it's on Xbox. And I think it was for free on Xbox, but I don't remember how long ago it was for free on Xbox. And it was like a cross. It was like these cute little bears and stuff. And and cats and dogs and everything. And they were, um, and they were playing kind of like a first-person shooter. gonna go get the last fish we need to get the nook miles and then I'm probably gonna wind down well I'm probably gonna end the stream Barry because it's getting late over here 
it's gonna be one in the morning and I have to be an adult tomorrow. I never... I've never taken anyone who says I'm just a small streamer seriously. If you enjoy it, then who cares if they call you casual like you said. You're doing it for fun, not as a job. Yeah, same here. But I'm off, so I'll be, I'll be up. Oh, okay, so you're, you need to go to work tomorrow. You're off tomorrow. That's cool. I wish I was off tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have work and school tomorrow. Are there no fishes? What's going on? See, there's no fishes up here. Let's go back down. I got to, I have to not run, then I'll scare the fishes. Alright, I got my neck mile. Let's put this fishing pole away. And then let's go to the drop box. And we'll sell our fish for only 80% of their value. <laughs> and since berries open my eyes, I see how it's a scam now. Only gave me 80% because I play late. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's almost 1 in the morning. Alright, let's go in the house. I'm the eye opener now. <laughs> well, you were for me, Barry. <laughs> I've heard it from other people, but you like really made it really clear to me tonight how there's stuff going on in this game I didn't notice. Alright. Well, thank you for coming and Hanging out, Barry. I really appreciate it. And, um, I'm gonna end the stream now. I'm gonna save. I appreciate you coming, oh, hanging out with me, Barry. And I appreciate everyone who came to the chat. I appreciate Josh who came earlier. I appreciate everyone else who was in the chat. And, um, let's see. Of course, it was fun chatting with you. Oh, it's fun chatting with you too, Barry. And I'll make sure to catch your stream more often when you stream and um, jump in there and see what you're doing. And um, I want to thank everybody, too, who watches my stream um, later on after, um, on the VOD. I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, Barry, whenever you want, um, stop by, watch my stream, and I'll make sure to um, go check you out. And everybody else, thank you for... Um, coming to the chat, watching me stream, and I'll see you guys next time. You guys take care. Bye!